Heinz Ketchup version two, take four. So today the video is coming out on Thursday. What's up with that? Well, today's notable because it's four years since I put out my first video starting this channel. Honestly, I could have never hoped for the growth the channel has gotten, but I don't take it for granted. Thank you for watching and commenting on my videos. I read every single comment, although I may not respond to all. So I decided to recreate my first video as a celebration, as I would make it today. I linked the first video in the description if you want to see it. Here we go. Today I'll show you how to make homemade ketchup. It's super simple and tastes way better than commercial ketchup. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I'll show you how simple it is to make homemade ketchup that's delicious and super easy to make. A bonus is that it tastes close to Heinz ketchup. I don't know about you, but that's my real ketchup taste. It requires no cooking and comes together in minutes. So what makes it special? One, it has lots of tomato taste. Two, a good amount of acidity. Three, a sweetness that balances that acidity. And four, the perfect ketchup flow, first slow and then fast. That's what's called a non-Newtonian fluid. A quick note, the recipe's not my own, it's from the fine folks over at Chef Steps, which I've been following for years. High quality content. I don't know if you know them, but you should. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You can also buy some merch, or use the super thanks, or use the links for tools and ingredients in the description. Those were the words, this is the recipe. There's a link in the description to the recipe on my website. I'm using a powerful blender from Sage slash Breville called the Super Q. It's excellent for many things, but any blender or food processor will work. Ensure it has enough room for about one and a half liters, six cups. To your blender, add the following, 400 grams or one and two thirds cup of tomato paste. <music> 80 grams or six tablespoons of sugar. 30 grams or four teaspoons of salt. 0.8 grams or half a teaspoon of ground cloves. 2 grams or one heaping teaspoon of MSG. Yes, monosodium glutamate. You can skip this, but trust me, it won't taste as good. 400 milliliters or one and two thirds cup of distilled white vinegar. Start your blender and mix everything. It shouldn't take too long. Then add 400 grams or one cup of glucose syrup while blending. Once all of that is incorporated, it's time to add 2.4 grams or one teaspoon of xanthan gum. Add it little by little while blending it tends to clump together since it's highly hygroscopic, so this is how to get it in without that happening. After it's incorporated, put it in a large jar. Seal it. And store it in the fridge until you need it. It's good for up to 14 days. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Do you want to see how I use it? Yeah. 
So how about that? Not everybody will use ketchup for a burger or a hot dog, but if you haven't tried it, I think you should because it's so tasty. When I was a kid, my mom told me about a cousin from the States who ate his pancakes with ketchup. Who knew? This homemade ketchup is perfect for any occasion and it's so simple to make that it's a no-brainer to have this in your fridge. If you made it this far in the video and have questions or comments, start your sentence with Heinz and I will make sure to get to those first. I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Cool.